table any time set for a return because he has not had a CT scan yet. So he'll have a CT scan uh, later this afternoon. Uh, we'll let you all know kind of a time frame uh, of where that is right now. Today I thought very, very beneficial getting in Neyland Stadium and again doing a lot of situational football. But right now uh, we have to have a discipline to execute. Football is too hard of a game as it is from just the, the technical aspect of things, from fundamentals, effort, techniques, winning your one-on-one -on -one matchup, let alone be a team that jumps off sides, a team that doesn't take care of the football, a team that doesn't snap the ball well. All those things, it comes down to the discipline to execute and having that ability. And I thought many, many great teaching uh, lessons and opportunities today, but again, just overall focus in, uh, again, four straight days of, of intense football. And I liked our approach, the way we came out, but way too many mental mistakes right now with this football team. You know, we've been repping a number of individuals. I think Tyler Bird uh, is really starting to come in now. He's playing with a lot more confidence. You know, we're going to play uh, Jordan Murphy, obviously, as a true freshman. Uh, obviously, Josh Palmer as well. Uh, Latrell Williams has done some very good things as well. Uh, obviously, we'll miss the, the experience you know, at the beginning with Josh, uh, but we have some individuals uh, that are very, very talented. So there's no time to say whether this is definitely not going to happen. Yes. Coach, Jordan. Know, I mean, again, but I would anticipate you know, with Jordan, just you know, kind of what, what did people see from him to make him the first one of those young, young guys? Have Toughness, to mentality, and all three backs are really doing a good job. Just the overall intensity, uh, and, and I give these freshman backs a credit. They've not missed one practice, and obviously it's been a physical training camp, but they've not missed one practice. But I think just, you know, Tim has a unique personality, he always smiles. Uh, he brings levity to the situation, but also he's intense as well. It's just a respect by his peers. Coach, we've got to look at linebackers today. Oh, that's the development of Will Ignat. Been very encouraged by that. Will's a freshman that's going to play for us, and we're going to need him to play a lot of football. And the great thing today is we were able to get those individuals, Corte Sapp coming back from injury, really give him valuable repetitions. Daniel Batuli, Will Ignat that you just mentioned. So the ability to come in here and play football, have all the coaches, off the field practice game management type situations, expose them to situational football, and just let them play. I think that was really, really beneficial. Coach, are you still <laughs> juggling the offensive line? At what point do you, you know, want to set up? Well, I don't know what juggling means. We have to, we, as we all know, we have to have seven, eight guys be ready to go. We've been kind of, you know, whenever you miss practice, I think you miss that continuity, that consistency. And, Playing offensive line is so much based on the communicative aspect of things. So as we know, we like individuals to be able to play a number of positions, but having guys out throughout the course of training camp, I really think has set our overall development back there. It's not a matter of want to, it's just a matter of practice opportunities, but we're getting them all back now. So, uh, you know, again, we need individuals to play multiple positions, but we also the next week, we have to have five individuals working together as one, and then the next five working together as one. So just the consistency at that position is greatly needed right now. Which well, we haven't talked to you since LaBruza got his stripe taken off. Kind of what, what led to that, and, and kind of how yeah. is he factoring in? Unselfish. Uh, you know, when you look at, at Cheyenne, very, very unselfish individual. He plays corner, but he's been doing a lot of other things on scout team, on scout team for running offenses, a scout team running different looks, whether it's punt, punt return, kickoff, or kickoff return, and he does it at a high level. Coach, somebody's going to ask you, did you adjust the time of practice today for the solar eclipse, and what do you have planned as a team? Yeah, we did. Uh, but uh, in terms of planning as a team, we need to get in the weight room and be stronger and review this video. So we'll be working a little bit uh, as it's going on. Uh, but, yeah, we did do that to accommodate that, but also just get the day going and uh, get practice and then as coaches we can go back and spend you know a lot of quality time you know teaching the, the, the situations that came about today. Other yeah. than the offensive line, what are some other areas of the team you're trying to kind of pair down or get the rotation sets and position battles and then we're already well the secondary is there's a lot of great position battles and the way I look at it, like I said, the term starters or starting is kind of a thing that really has gone out about ten years ago. 
And the way I look at it is you need a number of starters. We don't have two starting safeties. We have three to four starting safeties. And that's the way we look at it. We need, we need three or four starting corners. And all you're doing is rotating. It's not who takes the first snap. It's about repetitions. And the game of football now, everything is about being fresh. But the other thing is it's a long football season as well. So we need as many individuals to give us quality reps, winning repetitions. So the amount of competition and depth that you can have, we're going to need that. And right now there's some great position battles going on, particularly at the safety position, but also at the corner position as well. But we need them all. What you know, you know, Jack Wiggins in terms of his progression? Yeah, he, he, uh, he's tried to go a, a number of days, but right now it's, it's a hip. Uh, we anticipate him. Tomorrow's our players' day off, and then first day of classes are Wednesday, and we'll lift and we'll meet. You know, he's been doing a great job with treatments, but we need to get him back out there. Up your senior group, fourth year guys, fourth year seniors, they standing out there. Again, I think this team is more in terms of leadership by leadership overall by each and every class. You know, not just leadership by one or two or three or four people. This is a, a, a group that really, really leads totally as a group, and that's been great to see. You also slated the scrimmage sometime at the end of the week or this weekend. Is that still on the docket? Well, it's more of a game-like situation called the game goal. We don't do you know, a whole lot in terms of physicality, but it is preparing now. We'll get into more Georgia Tech preparation, really getting ready now for game week, what that encompasses, and we're going to play a lot of young players. So. Now they have to be able to balance the rigors of being a full-time student athlete. There's usually a growth process that goes along with that. And like I say, college football is nothing more than a race to maturity. And what players, what individuals can mature in your football program the fastest and the quickest are usually the ones that give you meaningful repetitions. I think. But can it be hard to emulate Georgia Tech's offense for your scout team? Yeah. Our scout teams have done a very, very good job of, of emulating and running the plays, and it's something that they've worked on for a long period of time. But more so than that, it's the speed of the game. You know, it's being able to quick decisions by the quarterback, the, the speed of the backs, uh, the velocity of the upfront blocking. So to me, that's that's the most challenging thing is just the overall speed of the game and the technique and fundamentals with which they play with because they're very good at what they do. One more. Going back to the Eclipse, do you have your eye, eyewear ready to go? Where do you plan on watching it? I don't. Uh, I'll probably watch it on the news or something like that. I, I don't know if I trust those glasses yet. So I'll let you uh, I'll let you uh, use the glasses and I'll get it through TV. Is that something you're excited about? Being in the, in the, the uh, path of totality? I'm, I'm more excited about preparing this football team. Thank you. Thank you. Thank I you. discipline, huh, okay. Yeah.